Yo, what is up everybody? It is your man Robot back for another video and in this video I am here to present to you Aniverse. This is the game that just came out at the time that the video is promoting or posting, excuse me. Now, I might sound a little bit different on my mic and uh, to be honest, I uh, sprained my ankle and so my chair is a little bit lower so I can elevate my leg. So I might sound different, but just keep in mind the game just came out, there's gonna be bugs and I'm gonna teach you a little bit about the game going into it so you know what to do. Now the version that I'm playing isn't gonna be the exact version on release, but it will look similar to this. On release, we're gonna have a lot of these elements in the game, but I believe we're gonna to try to add a character starter selection character screen. So there's gonna be characters you could pick at the start, or one character, I mean. But for now, how it works in the game is it's random, but I believe we're gonna to try to add it before release. We're also gonna to try to have a VIP game pass and it gives you some special benefits. So make sure you guys get that before release if you want to. We have very few game passes in the game because we want to keep, keep the game very content oriented and skin oriented in game. And you'll see what I mean in just a second. Now, to get started in the game, you're gonna load up with your starter character. You're gonna have some shards, which is our in-game currency. If you want to use a code, there is a code for you on release. So the first code that's gonna be on release is going to be sorry for delay, like so. Sorry, the word and then for delay. That's gonna be a code for you guys on release, so make sure to use that. And then we'll probably have another release code that I'll post in the comment section. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you load into the game is click on the recruit button. I highly recommend trying to get this banner. The first banner is the best banner because the guy in the middle, Shield Savior, is only available on this banner. He will never spawn on this type of banner. This is the normal banner. And then this is the Shield Savior banner. Now, with this banner, you might see some duplicate characters on there. And the reason why there's the same character on there is because one is a silver character and one is a bronze character. That happens in the game. I think we're gonna fix that in the future, I'm not too sure. And the gold character is always at the top of it in the middle. But yeah, this is probably like a silver, a silver, a bronze, a bronze, and a bronze. But anyways, then you have your quests. This is how you get shards in game really, really easily and fast. I completed a bunch of quests, so you don't see them, but there are a lot of starter quests for you guys to get some free in-game shards. There's a lot of them that give a lot of shards. Or you could just meditate if you want to go AFK. If you have a premium membership on Roblox, you get double benefits. So I highly recommend doing that. And then there's your inventory. This is where you put all your characters. And there's a bunch of characters in game. Like all these characters that I recruited that I have yet to sell. We have multi-sell in the game. We added that right before release for you guys. So there might be bugs with that, but just be ready for that. There's a bunch of characters and you can see which ones are in game if you look at my screen. Then there's the play button. Now this is important. There's adventure mode. This is like a story mode for our game. Um, other than adventure mode, there is going to be trials. This is where you farm for things like slimes, which you use to level up your characters. Slimes are for leveling up your characters. Pangos, excuse me, pangos are for evolving your characters. So if you do the pango trial, you can evolve a character. For example, you could get the comfy pango, which has like a beanie on it, on its head, wearing a hat. And that one lets you evolve a silver character to a gold character. And then if you have like a normal pango, you can evolve a bronze character to silver character. You're more likely to get the comfy ones, which you want more often on the second trial version, on the second stage. Then there's the soul trial, and this is actually in your inventory, souls, and this boosts your character stats. Like for me, I have an attack soul stat, and this one increases my character's attack by five. It also has a substat increasing HP by 23. And I'll show you what I mean. If I click on this guy, I got plus 50 HP because of one of the souls that I equipped. If I go right here, he doesn't have anything equipped. If I go right here, he has 18 plus HP, plus 10 HP, or defense, and plus two restitution. I think that's what it is. I don't remember exactly. But um, then after that, if you just go to play again, there's infinite mode. If you want to go to infinite mode and farm that, infinite mode has a whole, um, not, not a banner, a whole leaderboard behind the dojo where you summon. And this is where you can see the top of the leaderboard. I believe your boy, Robot, is number one on the normal game mode for normal difficulty for infinite mode. So peep that. I'm still number one. Ryan's trying to pass me, though. But then if you go to the challenge mode, this is where you can do type-based challenges, like the speed challenge. If you have a speed type character, you do more damage. But if you don't have a speed type character, I believe you don't do too much damage. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section once this game comes out. And in the future, I believe we're going to try to have raids. Correct me if I'm wrong in the future, but we're going to try to do that hopefully. Then there's multiplayer. If you click adventure, click on the stage, and you click on multiplayer, you can set a private lobby code, and then you can click multiplayer, and then you'll see this. But for other players, they'll see it right here. They can click on your lobby, type in the code, or just click on your lobby and join. Now let's just go ahead and go into a stage real quick and I'll show off a little bit of the game for you. We'll go into stage three, make it hard mode, single player, just so you guys can experience a little bit of gameplay right before release. Now the game is just coming out, so there's going to be bugs, but I wanted to get this video out for you guys so you know about the game before release and you kind of had a little bit of a beginner's guide so you can kind of get you know some form of a start. Now also, just keep in mind, 
Um, there's two currencies in the game, there's shards and there's little gold coins. The gold coins are for your souls to level them up. The shards are for summoning. However, if you use, excuse me, I just realized my headphones weren't connected so I had to connect them, but if you use your gold coins, that levels up your soul shards, not your soul shards, your souls, so that they can do increased stat boosts and stuff like that. So it's very important. Oh, I love this character right here, bro. If he's ever on the banner, you guys have to get him. This guy, the Mist guy, is so good. He's so powerful too, especially if you level up your characters. Keep in mind, if you're not beating stages, if you're losing, you need to level up your characters. It's not actually a skill issue, it's just a level issue. So make sure you level up your characters and everything. We'll go ahead and go to the next stage, and that's very important. Now this game also has other stuff being added in the future, like more skins, and I'll show you an example of a skin right after this. Now also, if you want to skip dialogue, you have to be able to... I think you have to have gone through the stage once or completed the stage to be able to skip dialogue. So just keep that in mind if you're trying to skim through dialogue. Press the arrow to get to the next dialogue box, but you can't skip dialogue unless you've completed or been through the stage, I believe. So just keep that in mind. Now, there's also pressing E to switch between characters. This game is mobile and Xbox compatible, so keep that in mind. You can play it on all your devices. We wanted to make it very accessible to all players, but we weren't able to get too much testing done on all platforms, so just keep that in mind. But we're very excited for you guys to be able to play the game. Let's just go ahead and beat this level real quick. Thank you, thank you. Boom. And he's poisoned. Let's just go ahead and kill them. Let's go. And then let's switch to my boy. Let's go. This is the, my favorite character in game. I, I love this character a lot. I just love his moveset. It's very fun and energetic. Now, VFX is an issue some people highlighted in the game, and we're going to be fixing that in the future. We'd just rather get a solid game out for you guys first, and then worry about the VFX once we have the funds to be able to commission people for better VFX. Let me go ahead and show you some skins in game. One of my favorite skins in game, you actually could have seen it if you noticed my Mist Ninja character. He has a version of his skin right here where his eyes are darkened. So if I click on him right here, I go to equip, and then if I just click right here, I can preview the, the skin before I buy it, and they cost shards in game. If I go to return, by the way, enhance is how you level up characters, like so, enhance, and you select which ones you enhance with. He doesn't have a skin. If I go to shield savior, I go to equip. There's a bunch of skins right here, like the capeless version of him. There is the balloon attack version of him, which has the little balloon dudes on him, and the normal version. And then if you go to my favorite character with a skin, there's a white version of this character, and then there's the normal version that you start with, but the white version, that's the best skin in the game. It actually changes the color of your moveset, so keep that in mind. And I think that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Remember, the code is sorry for delay, and there might be another code on release that I'll put in the comment section down below. So make sure you guys leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, play the game, link is in the description. Check you out on the next one. Oh yeah, and daily missions give you shards per quest. That's how you also earn a lot of shards. But yeah, take care, everybody. Yeah.